It's been a week of extreme heat and dangerous fire weather and it's not over yet. We're here to talk through what we can expect for the remainder of today and across the weekend. But first, Adam, it's been an exceptionally hot week. Talk us through what we've seen so far. Sure has, Andrew. We're really in the thick of the heat wave. It's been going on for quite a while now. Twice this week already, we've broken the previous record for Australia's warmest day on record. It previously stood at 40.3 degrees from January 2013. We calculated by taking all the maximum temperatures observed across the country and averaging them out. On Tuesday, we saw a new record, 40.9 degrees. Then on Wednesday, we went even higher at 41.9, so a full degree warmer than the previous day. And if you look at the map here, that area of bright purple is the extent of the country that saw a top temperature of over 45 degrees on Wednesday. So it really is very extensive. It is, it's quite extraordinary. And yesterday was still a very hot day as well. So we saw temperatures almost reaching 50 degrees yesterday. Yeah, that's right. When we look at individual locations, certainly in the high 40s was very widespread. Nullarbor at 49.9. That's a new December record for Australia. Just over the border at Eucla, 49.8 as well. But even further east, Adelaide, 45 degrees there was a new December maximum temperature record. And overnight last night, 33.6 in Adelaide was their warmest night on record for any time of year. And I know, Andrew, we talk a lot about records, but it just helps us put in context the extent and, I guess, the unseasonality of the heat. It's just not something we'd normally see in December, is it? No, normally we'd see this type of heat in January, like when we saw the record, the Australia's maximum record um, previously. Mm. And it really does highlight just how difficult the conditions can be for people. And that's, I guess, another reason why we do talk about the records is to help people understand just how high these temperatures are mm. and that it's just not something that we're used to coping with. That's right and that heat is still continuing today as we said we're right still in the middle of this heat wave certainly as we head into the Christmas period it's really taking its toll on the community well into the low to mid 40s through South Australia into Victoria and even western New South Wales there today. Those temperatures are likely to go even higher this afternoon on the forecast we've got 46 forecast for Adelaide 44 degrees for Melbourne. They would be new December records as well if we reach those sorts of temperatures this afternoon. And even 33 degrees down in Hobart. It's very warm there. We expect to see possibly even 36 in the Derwent Valley. But Andrea, we've got all eyes on the front coming through, don't we? Yeah, we do because that's what's going to bring the relief, particularly to the southern parts um, through today. So really for South Australia, the change already moved into the west of the state earlier today, but not expected to reach Adelaide until uh, between 4 and 6 p.m. tonight. Not reaching Western Victoria until late afternoon as well, and actually not reaching Melbourne uh, until probably between 10 and 11 p.m. tonight. So we've got a long day ahead for Victorians for today. Uh, down in Tasmania, the real peak of the heat won't happen until sort of late in the afternoon because the winds will really strengthen there during the afternoon and then there'll be a gradual relief there. So yeah, it really is a long day ahead of us with very high temperatures expected. Sure is. There's high temperatures, low humidities and windy conditions. What does that do to the fire dangers? Well, not surprisingly, it's we're seeing really elevated fire dangers, particularly through South Australia and, and Western Victoria today with dangerous conditions, with catastrophic fire dangers. If there's fires in the landscape, they're mm. really, really difficult to control. So people need to be really vigilant in these areas today. And even parts of New South Wales and Queensland, not expecting quite the strong winds that we're seeing um, in the south today, but still got some severe fire dangers for those parts for today as well. And certainly we saw some pretty significant fire conditions yesterday through New South Wales, didn't we? But um, as we head into the weekend, what are the conditions looking like through New South Wales as that change moves up the coast? Yeah, so really the peak day again for New South Wales and the ACT is Saturday. So still expecting very mm. high temperatures forecast for right throughout the state. Um, and as you say, we really will be watching this change because what it's going to do is bring quite a strong gusty southerly wind, which is a little bit different to what we experienced yesterday in New South Wales. The strong gusty southerly creates a really dangerous period for the fire grounds because it rapidly changes the direction of the fires there. What sort of gusts are we looking at as that change moves through? Yeah, so we could see gusts up to 100 kilometres per wow. hour, probably the strongest around the coastal fringe, um, but still further inland, very strong period of southerlies, which, as I said, is likely to change the direction of the fires uh, and make for a really dangerous period of fire weather conditions. So with that change moving through, what are the fire dangers looking like around the Sydney region? Yeah, so as we can see here, extreme fire dangers currently forecast for this area. Now, we will be um, updating the fire 
five day ratings later this afternoon. Mm. So it'll be really important for people to check back in. But just knowing that really Saturday again poses real risk for New South Wales and ACT communities. Certainly. So we've got a lot going on really hot across the country. The fire danger right from South Australia through to New South Wales, ACT Queensland, right across the southern part of the country. And so with that smoke hanging around large parts of the coast and those health impacts, it's really important to stay in touch with the Bureau on our website app and social media for your weather forecasts and warnings over the weekend. And also your state and territory health departments and fire agencies for all advice. So please take care.